What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Day of Toys video. As you guys know, if you saw my Instagram story yesterday, I talked about something big. I was working on something big. As you see, I have a number of superstars split up into four random groups right here. Okay, and what I have done is I'm trying I'm on the fence about it because you know I, I'm already behind on the pig fed as it is. Um, or I feel like I am. I'm really not behind, but I kind of am. As you see, I'm still filming MDC Live. Gonna be up in the next few days. Can't wait for that. Episode 6, Go Home Show for Money in the Bank. But this idea came across my head. What if I did a 64-man MDT March Madness special where I would just hand-fed the entire tournament? It would be 64-man. I've already split it up. I got the seeds here on my phone. I'm gonna go through it uh, with you guys. I'm gonna tell you all of the matchups, each bracket zone and region and everything. I'm gonna let you guys know about all that. I wanted your guys' opinion on if I should do it or not. Should I literally do this full bracket all the way to the national championship for the MDT March Madness Championship or maybe you guys can come up with a cool name for it and I'd make a belt and everything for it. We do it yearly. Um, I know I'm already doing the Battle Royal. I know I've already done, I'm already doing the Pick Fed, but this idea just popped in my head. But um, four regions, 64 guys, I would hand fed the whole thing, you know, I would probably have like a wheel, I'd spin the wheel, and whatever that landed on, that would be the stipulation for the match, you know, so it's not boring, just technical stuff with the hand fed, it would actually be, you know, probably weapons involved, ladder matches, TLC, tables, hardcore, all of that, so it would not be boring. But I want to know your guys' opinion. Uh, right now, I'm just going to go through the regions. First of all, we have the south region, and the south region would be back in this corner. Alright guys, so in the South region, the number one seed is AJ Styles. You know, he's AJ Styles. I feel like he's a good number one seed. 16 are Truth. So, it, it, what the way it's seeded is the number one seed would fight the 16th seed. So, AJ Styles would fight R Truth. Big E versus Kofi Kingston. RVD versus Sin Cara. Randy Orton versus Zack Ryder. Bray Wyatt versus Cian Almas. Roman Reigns versus TJP. Kane versus Tyler Breeze. And Undertaker versus Goldust. The way I did the regions was where people are from, where they're born. So uh, that's why all those guys are in the south. I know not all the seeds are perfect, but I tried to fill it in the best that I could. But, um, yeah, let's move on to the next bracket. So over here in the West regions, guys, the number one seed is Daniel Bryan. You know, he just returned to the ring. I thought that he would be a good one seed. He faces Jinder Mahal, the 16th seed in the first round. Sheamus versus Austin Aries. Rey Mysterio versus Baron Corbin. Samoa Joe versus Rowan. Cesaro versus Jimmy Uso. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Apollo. Tyler Bate versus Jey Uso. Seth Rollins versus Big Show. Over here in the North Division right here, you got the one seed Brock Lesnar, and he is taking on James Ellsworth, the 16th seed over here. We have The Miz versus Ziggler, Jericho versus English, Kevin Owens versus Chad Gable, Dean Ambrose versus Bobby Roode, Triple H versus Luke Harper, Sami Zayn versus Ty Dillinger, and John Cena versus Jason Jordan. And over here in the back, we have the East region. I tried to get it all to be, you know, current WWE guys, but I did have to throw in just a few. As you see, Kurt Angle and CM Punk are in this bracket. We have the one seed CM Punk taking on Heath Slater in the first round. Rusev versus Shelton Benjamin. Kurt Angle versus Kalisto. Braun Strowman versus Jack Gallagher. Matt Hardy versus Drew McIntyre. Jeff Hardy versus Connor. Neville versus Xavier Woods. And Finn Balor taking on Victor. Again, I want to let I want you guys to let me know what your opinion is on this. I think it would be a ton of fun to watch, you know, to see who uh, came out on top. But again, it would be hand-fed style. It would be, you know, random gimmick matches most likely. Unless you guys wanted to see singles matches, I just figured that would probably make it boring. But please let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. It's just an idea that popped in my head. Again, MDT Live Episode 6, the go-home show for Money in the Bank is coming soon. And Money in the Bank will follow that. I'm waiting on the ring skirt and the ropes to come in. Well, the ropes actually came in today. So I'm waiting on the ring skirt to get in there. I'm going to start designing a stage this week as well. So I cannot wait for all of that. I'm also about to be finished with the Finn Balor Custom of the Month. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Again, let me know down in the comment section below what you think, what your vote is, yes or no. You don't have really the time. I don't want to see that. I'm not that interested. Or, yes, bro, do that Ho, Don't care how cringy it is. I'll watch all the matches. Let's crown a champion. I think I would do the matches, you know, all like I would probably do all the 1 versus 16s in one episode and so forth until we got, you know, all the way to the end. We could probably fit the whole Sweet 16, Elite 8, and Final 4 all in one episode. But for the first round, I'd probably do it seed by seed um, just to eliminate, you know, a ton of videos at once. But that's going to do it, guys. Again, leave your vote below. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.